You know, I hate to say it. <laughs> now, now that I figured out how to upload videos on this phone, it's a hell of a lot easier. You know, you just make the video and uh, boom. Go down, pick upload, and you're done. Uh, so that's a beautiful thing, which once I get up with the truck convoy, I'm, I'm, that's why I, I needed to learn about how to do it. Anyway, you know, now that my mom is, uh, well, she's in the hospital right now, and uh, hopefully we'll get her into assisted living. Um, I just wanted to talk, just two-second video here. Uh, the Democrats have completely lost the p political narrative. And uh, I think we've derailed them and the Rhino Republicans. I mean, you know, let's let's not let's not you know I'm, I'm not I'm an independent. Okay, I've always been independent. Of course, I'm registered Republican right now because they there's more uh, um, Republicans that agree with me politically. Uh, but boy, I tell you, we got to get the damn Democrats out. But I tell you what, seven thousand vehicles are in the convoy right now. <laughs> 7,000. Now, I'm going to be joining it. So by the time it gets to Maryland, it could be eight, ten thousand. 10,000. Uh, now, the mainstream media, and they're going to just, they're losing, I mean, they're losing the whole country because what they report on is just nothing that nobody cares about. They're not talking about inflation. They're not talking about gas prices. All, you know, at this point, all they want to talk about is Ukraine and who in the United States Yes, we all care about Ukraine to a, a just a little teeny bit. Uh, Ukraine's been very uh, corrupt. Uh, you know, Biden's been making a hell of a lot of money off of Ukraine. He had Hunter Biden up there. There's a lot of corrupt oligarchs in uh, Ukraine. So uh, don't tell me Ukraine uh, is something that we as a country need to worry about. But what I'm seeing, this is this is unbelievable, and I can't wait to join the convoy on March 4th. Uh, just wanted to throw that out there uh, as one last uh, two o'clock in the morning video because I just can't sleep. I mean, after what I went through with my mom today and the, the, the SWAT team coming to my house and storming the house uh, because they thought my mom had a gun and all she can do is lay in a bed and pee on herself and poop on herself. So I don't know what the hell that was all about. That you know, that's that's your social services, probably some left-wing lunatic that I was talking to at social services and well I guess she did me a favor you know getting mom out of the house and well hopefully we'll get her into uh, and I will put her in the best assisted living facility that I can find of course we're in Lynchburg Virginia the armpit of the fucking world you know uh, that you know that, that, that if you ever have been to the nursing homes in Lynchburg Virginia they're horrible because I I looked into every one of them when I was trying to get my dad taken care of you know, if she come down to Florida, I could have put her in a mansion, you know, uh, uh, anyway, don't get me started. And yeah, yeah, I have been drinking because <laughs> I'm just so happy that I, I'm going to get my mom taken care of properly because, you know, I, I felt bad. I mean, you know, when you're picking your bloody mom up off the floor, you know, and you're thinking, well, you know, what have I done wrong? I mean, I'm coming up and I'm checking on her as often as I can. And, uh, oh my God. And. I, it, well, I, here's a quick story for you. Uh, just one last story. So she, before she, I mean, because she couldn't walk and she had this walker, you know, you know, those walkers where they got the thing and, and I've, I've used it, you know, I have had to use it because I've had knee surgery and everything else. And so I was trying to get her to the bathroom because I thought she needed to change her colonoscopy bag. And then all of a sudden she makes a detour to the shower. I said, mom, what the hell are you doing, man? I said, and she goes, I've got to get in the shower. i got to get in the shower. I said, Mom, man, I said, I thought you were just going to, like, empty your colonoscopy bag, and then I'd walk you back to the bedroom. And she goes, i got to, and she because underneath that colonoscopy bag, and I understand, it gets, it's nasty, man. I, I, I tell you what, if anybody ever wants to call, put a colonoscopy bag on me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot the son of a gun. No way I'm going to go through that. But uh, anyway, so I got her into the shower, and, uh, and then, you know, I'm trying, so I had to cut the water on. And of course, when the water first comes out, it's cold as hell, you know, and, 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 and she's screaming, oh my God, oh my God, the water's cold, the water's cold. I said, mom, man, I'm, I'm trying. I said, you know, here, let me get, you know, of course, the, the hot water, I get, you know, I get the hot water. It's too hot, it's too hot. It's too, I, I said, mom, I'm trying to get the fucking, I didn't know you were gonna go in the shower, man. I, you know, and of course, 
And and that was the, the, another thing was I thought she might fall down in the shower and bust her head, you know. And of course, then I would have been liable, probably gone to jail for elder abuse. And I said, son of a bitch. So she goes, get me a chair, get me a chair. I said, well, I don't know where a gosh dang chair is in the house. So I'm running around the house. And so I said, you know, there's a wooden chair in my room. My, my old bedroom as a kid, you know, and, and uh, you know, some of the stuff that I actually had as a kid is still in there. And I said, well, you know what, this wooden chair will probably work. And I'm, and, and you know, tell you how stupid I am, I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't get this wooden chair wet. Who gives a fuck whether it gets wet? You know? <laughs> so, so I run it to the shower and I put it, put it down in there. I said, mom, please sit on the wooden chair, sit on the wooden chair, you know? Uh, and so she did, she sat down on the wooden chair and, uh, and then, and, so all I could do was just let the water run. And of course, she's got that gray, you know, wild looking hair. And, and uh, I gave her soap and I gave her shampoo. And uh, I said, I said, is there anything else I can do? I said, is the water temperature good? And she goes, yeah, yeah, okay, you know. I said, all right, I, I just didn't know. She goes, bring me a bucket, bring me a bucket. I said, for what? And she goes, my colonoscopy bed. I said, well, you're in the shower, just empty it down the drain. And she goes, no, I need a bucket to put it in. I said, okay, I'll bring you a damn bucket. So I bring a bucket into the shower, and, you know, I put it down, and she empties the colonoscopy bag into the bucket, you know, and uh, and then what do I do with it? I just took it out in the yard and dumped it, you know, I mean, but, uh, man, it's been a son of a bitch. I'll tell you what, I thank God she's in the hospital, and uh, we'll see if uh, they'll keep her. Maybe we can get her into assisted living. But uh, anyway, you guys, peace out, stay free, and let them truckers roll. 7,000 vehicles, and I will be with them. And by the time we get to Washington, D.C., it could be 10,000 vehicles. And you know what that son of a bitch Biden's going to do? He's going to ignore the whole fucking thing because he's a totalitarian dictator that the fucking Democrats want in power. And, uh, you know, that's why I hate all them sons of bitches. But you know what? I think uh, a lot of people in the country have woken up and uh, I don't think the next election the Democrats are going to win. And uh, but I but that by the way I made a prediction. If you go back to my predictions for 2022, they're going to have us under martial law, and they're not going to want an election in November. And they're going to do everything they can to circumvent that election. Uh, we'll see what happens. That and by the way I got a bet with a um, uh, or I shouldn't say right wing a conservative friend of mine. He says there will be an election. I said, no, there's not going to be an election. There's no way they can hold an election. They're going to get destroyed. No way all these people are waving flags as the trucker's convoy moves along and the Democrats are going to get destroyed. They're not going to allow that to happen. They're totalitarians. You know, tell me Nancy Pelosi's a good person. You believe that? Well, you know, you go along with that. Oh, by the way, it looks like they're going to lift the mask mandates, uh, right before Biden's speech. Woo, imagine that. Imagine that they're going to lift the mask mandates. Now, are, are Democrats going to continue to wear masks when, uh, you know, we in Florida haven't worn masks in uh, two years? Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll probably, they're probably going to protest for masks. They're going to protest for vaccine mandates, you know, because that's what they are. They're totalitarian idiots. But anyway, that's it for this video. Bye-bye.